D.C. public schools admitting now that private information for special ed students was exposed to the public possibly for years. Ross Plater is pushing for answers as to how this happened. She's live in southeast Washington for us tonight. Roz, what, what's the school system saying to you about this? Well, they did apologize, but they offered no explanation as to how this could have happened and happened for so long until, frankly, it was discovered by reporters for the uh, website BuzzFeed who confronted D.C. public school officials on Monday. Now, the website says there were hundreds of pages of documents with sensitive and confidential information about uh, special education students, about teachers, and about other school workers that sat unprotected for years anybody could have logged on. Now, in a state the DCPS said the database was housed at an internal website that was launched in 2010 and that as soon as they learned of the problem they shut down that site they also said there is quote currently no evidence the data was compromised and that quote we apologize to DC students and their families for the situation and we'll be reaching out to families to explain what happened here though is what some parents had to say about it I was unaware of this website, and the school didn't inform me of this website, and now that the website has been breached, I don't think that the website was a good idea at all. I would be angry if I was a parent of a special needs child. Yes, I would be outraged. Well, in fact, the Washington Teachers Union uh, told BuzzFeed that it's too early right now to see whether that apology is enough until they know the extent of the damage. DCPS, though, is promising an investigation and a thorough review of the security to make sure it doesn't happen again. We are live in Southeast D.C. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Ross.